you know, when you live in a metropolis city, so especially when you live from, uh, you were born and raised in LA and then you moved to Tokyo, not that big of a difference. Just everybody's shorter than you, right? Um, so, you know, it's just buildings and everything. It's downtown LA. It's, it's the same to me, um, especially, and then especially in New York as well. Um, <laughs> Anybody from New York would tell you that's probably going to be their biggest difference, too. That's their biggest takeaway. New York versus Tokyo. What's the difference? Now the smell. You know, one smells like piss. The other one smells like cigarettes. So, you know, it's like it's 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 uh, I guess that's the instinctively the first thing I noticed. So um, when I was um, taking a Shinkansen over here to Osaka, I had I, I missed my reserve seat, um, which was interesting. Um, the reserve seat pretty empty nobody's there there's not really much of a smell to it other than somebody opening up their bento box i went to the non-reserve area which generally is a lot more foreigners because um, they don't know how to make the reserve seats right i had to sit in a, re a non-reserve area the smell was very different because we have just different body odor um we emanate a different sort of smell and so it was a completely different environment and it very much you go to the airports same situation so i don't know maybe interesting maybe i just like smelling things <laughs> the wolverine here